Y'all have your Bibles. Y'all want to play a game? We can play Bible Olympics. Anybody, anybody up to play some Bible Olympics? <laughs> Rick's looking at me like, please don't. I'm going to first turn to 2 Timothy um, chapter 4, verses 2 and 3. Preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, extort, with all long suffering and doctrine. Second Timothy four. Second Timothy four, verse two and three. Now for verse three. For the time will come when when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lust, they shall heap to themselves teachers having itchy ears. Amen. So, I read that. That's what's going on in the world right now. Mm -hmm. I, I had something completely different written out this week. And then after the revival, preaching last night, I, I came home and I was up till 1 o'clock and wrote something out. So I'm going to read that to you. You know, we Christians don't quite grasp the power that we yield. We have the power to transform lives through the Word of God. Our Holy Bible, this book right here, everybody got one? Don't have one, need one. Our Holy Bible is the Word of God. And now we all know as humans, we're really just bumbling idiots. Um, and Jesus is the only one that can save anybody. Okay? Amen. Mm -hmm. But, if you are saved, if you believe that Jesus Christ <coughs> was born, a virgin died, was resurrected for you, then you're saved. And the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost comes into you. Alright? That's power. That is the power of the Holy Ghost. And you can do anything. Anything. So now if I'm reading this thing correctly, what he wants us to do is spread the good news. Right. What is the good news? The well, gospel. Right. Revelation. It's the, it's the gospel. But most specifically, what we just said. If you believe that Jesus is God's only begotten Son, Then, right. He was sentenced to die on the cross for us, but he's not dead. He was risen. Yeah. And later ascended to heaven to sit on the throne with God. And all we need, miserable sinners here need to do is to believe, and one day we will be in heaven with him. If you don't have the power of the Holy Ghost in guiding you, then brothers and sisters, you need to get it. Amen. That's right. You need to take the step, let the Lord know, let everybody know. Because once you let the Lord know that you believe, then He He gives you the work. It comes to you. Amen. You can't you can run from it. But it's never going to, it's never going to leave you alone. So, but that's what you want. That's what you want. You want the Holy Ghost guiding. So, what is it that you need to say today that will turn your life around if you are not saved? What are what is it you need to say? Well, 
if you go over, I'm going to write, read out some verses for you. And you can go look them up. Because that's what you do with the Bible. John 3.16 Acts 16 verse 30 through 31 Romans 10 verses 9 and 10 Acts 2.38 Titus 3.5 Those mentioned the Holy Ghost. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. All of those are records throughout the Bible where it tells you how to be saved. Now let the Holy Ghost come into your life. And if you have not done that, it is time to do it. Mm -hmm. Amen. There is no tomorrow. Once you make this step, the weight of the world will be lifted off your shoulders. That weight is, is the weight of sin. When I rededicated my life to Jesus, I felt so much relief in my life. Those sins that anchored me down for so long were just cast free. And I've never felt free. Like, I'm, like this is coming from my heart, people. I, I don't know how else to say it. It's like that song, you got joy, 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 joy down in your heart. That's I, I just do. I, and... Not everyone will be receptive of the truth, but we are to be persistent in our efforts to spread the good news to everyone. And like there's a lot, a lot, a lot of people that all of us, I'm just going to point at myself, you know, there's, I know that there's so many people that I used to look upon and think poorly of. And now, I just, uh, to be honest with you, I feel sad for them and I just want them to understand. I just, I look at people different. No matter what they are, no matter what sin they're caught up in, God loves them people. And He loves them people just as well as He loves us. And we, we still sin even though we've been saved because we can't follow the Lord and it's, we rely on grace. The grace of God is the only thing that can save us. Every human being on this earth is loved by God. He, hits, he hates the sin we find ourselves living in, but He loves the person. He loves you, and He knows every little evil thing you do or you have ever did. Everything. He loves you, and He knows, that, and we must repent. Repent your sins. If you have not repented your sins, do so. Let God know that you're sorry. And truly be sorry. Because He knows the difference. Be sorry. Go to Him. Free yourself from the chains of sin that bind you and come to the Lord. Do it today. It is in your heart. If you're here, it should be in your heart. Do it today. Take a step away from the wicked world and its ways and take a step towards the Lord Jesus Christ who is in heaven waiting for you to stand up and say, I believe in you, Jesus. For those of us here who are saved by the grace of God, it's up to us to make the effort to spread the good news to others. If just by talking to someone about God we can set the wheels of motion, we must do it. As it says in James 2, 26, For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. We are dead until we are saved. Amen. Once saved, we are filled with the Holy Spirit. And it might not come sudden, but it comes. We are to do the work God commanded of us. So there, for as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Go out there and do the work, spread the word to everybody you speak to. I, preacher Lytle last night, his sermon was, uh, what was that? I, uh, oh man. It was about Christ suffering on the cross. Right, but what did he, he kept going back to, uh, he just couldn't help it. Remember, he said, I just can't help, it. you know. I just can't help but talk about the Lord. You know, they told him at a job site. Uh, 
you can't be talking about that here. And he, he said, well, I just can't help it. You know, it's when you are when you believe and you understand the power of this, and what it really all means, I mean, you can't help it. But now, rather than saying I can't help it, I'm going to say I don't care. I don't care what the problem is. Mm -hmm. I don't care. It doesn't matter anyway until the day they're saved. And then they'll open their own eyes. And they'll say, Talk to people. Listen to people. All people everywhere. Pray for the Lord to send you someone that needs to hear it. And he probably would. Then unleash the power of that Holy Ghost inside you. And I pray that each and every one of you in here is saved. And if you're not saved, there's a better day to do it. And I pray that we go out into the world and we find more people. They need it. They need to know the truth. They don't know the truth. They only know the lies. We need to go out and we need to spread the word. And that's all I have for you fine people.